Hello there, creative friends. Kara Plichinich here, and today I'm going to show you how to use InDesign's Gap Tool because it's pretty awesome. So I have a bunch of images selected here in Bridge, and I'm just going to go to File, Place, and we'll send this over to InDesign. So here we can see my cursor is loaded with nine images. So I'm going to drop these straight into a grid by just clicking and dragging to draw out a, a grid like this. I'm holding the shift key so that I can freestyle the proportions. Now, while I'm holding all this down, I'm gonna tap the up arrow twice and the right arrow twice. It's a little bit like playing Twister right now, but you can see that now my frame is divided into nine sections. And now when I let go, all my images are going to populate into those frames. And apparently I don't have auto fit turned on, so I'm gonna do that really quick. And I'm gonna press the super fun keyboard shortcut of all the things plus C. So that's Shift, Command or Control, Alt or Option, and C, and that's gonna fit everything in the frames. So it's super convenient, which is how I remember that, right? All the things plus C for convenient. And now we have everything in here, and you know these are now separate frames, so I could click one and drag it out like that, uh, et cetera. But sometimes you might find yourself wanting to just I don't know, make these ones taller and kind of drag the gaps around. And guess what? That is what the gap tool is for. So it's over here on the toolbar. The keyboard shortcut is U for ultra cool. And now watch what happens if I hover my cursor in the gap here, this vertical gap. I can now click and drag it like that. And because I've got auto fit enabled, InDesign will scale the images accordingly. So I could move that around like that. So that's pretty cool. We can of course also do this with the horizontal gaps, but there's more. If we hold the shift key, we can isolate it to just this gap. So now instead of moving the whole vertical gap, I can just move this one right here. Same is true for horizontal gaps. If I hold shift, I can just move individual gaps like so. Isn't that neat? So cool, but wait, there's also more. If I hold down the option or alt key and then grab a gap, InDesign will let me pick up the two adjacent frames and move them around. So maybe I just want to slide this over something or make room, you know, for another frame or something like that. So same with the vertical option here. So that is holding alt or option. And finally, if we hold down command or control, we can scale the gap to make it bigger or smaller. So I hope you find this helpful next time you are working with a grid in InDesign. Until next time, I'm Kara Plichinich and happy InDesigning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.